right. Hey, everybody. Dreadlock Dave here at the House of Blues Cleveland tonight, Winter Reggae Fest. I'm here with Lauren with the Ohio Rights Organization. That's right. She's going to tell you all about it. So tonight here at the House of Blues, we're super excited that Packy Malley invited us to come and gather signatures for the Ohio Cannabis Rights Amendment. The Ohio Cannabis Rights Amendment is a completely citizen-led initiative in order to get uh, it on the ballot for November 2014 to legalize industrial hemp farming for Ohio as well as therapeutic cannabis. So we got a lot of sick kids. We got a lot of sick people here in Ohio. We've got the worst groundwater contamination out of all 50 states, and people here in Ohio really need it. And it would be an amazing thing for our farmers to be able to grow it now that the Industrial Hemp Research Amendment passed in the Farm Bill just recently. If we were able to assert as a state, as citizens of Ohio, in our We the People moment to legalize it, then it would mean so much for the people here in the state of Ohio. What was, what's your personal drive to be a part of this movement? You know, I was a local food organizer for the last five years. We're just working, um, you know, in urban uh, food deserts, you know, just trying to create uh, awareness around access and, and education um, and the most nutritious foods that are available to people. Um, and uh, I, I realized the benefits of hemp as, uh, as a sustainable crop. And um, I, you know, I've seen in the past as far as people uh, receiving benefit from medical cannabis and in, in all of the other states and just within the last five months that I've been involved in the campaign, I, I realized that there's not just THC that has therapeutic benefit, but also cannabidiol, CBDs, and how that um, helps people as a, the most potent anti-inflammatory neuroprotectant found in nature. I mean, to be able to have access to that kind of medication for people in Ohio who suffer from multiple sclerosis autism, Parkinson's, uh, I mean, their, their epilepsy, and this, this childhood epilepsy that um, when I first got involved, there were, we had uh, three kids whose parents came to our organization and said, please help us, we know medical cannabis works, you know, we know that you guys are helping to legalize it, if you, you know, if you guys have resources for us, please help. And now we have over 30 kids in Ohio that, you know, can receive, that, that need the medicine, and it, this, this particular type of epilepsy, though, it doesn't respond to modern pharmaceuticals. It's something that's in, intractable. And the fact that this natural, beautiful plant that we've been symbiotic with for thousands of years, we have a chance to end prohibition and be able to heal our sick and you know and feed people hemp to the rescue, man. And we're just we're ready for it. And so we're just working. We've had such an awesome response from people coming through the doors to come listen to some awesome music. And, I mean, we've gathered, I don't know, at least 200 signatures, so this is really great. How many signatures are needed? So, over 385,000 for the entire state of Ohio. Each county has to get a minimum of 5% uh, in order to, for it to show up on their, ba on, on their ballot if we reach that number. Um, right now, we're at 50,000, but we've gotten some pretty awesome endorsements. Uh, the uh, United Food and Commercial, uh, I'm sorry, the United Food and Commercial Workers, you know, the UFCW, uh, locals, um, just signed on to endorse us. Um, we've got uh, an amazing film that's going into the Cleveland International Film Festival called Ride with Larry that, that follows a Parkinson's patient and his experience in, um, in his therapy. Um, there, we've got a crazy amount of press that's happening, but really what it comes down to is this, this is our We the People moment. It's a, as a citizen-led initiative, it's not something where we've had to pay a politician to, to get it done because they're, they've ignored the, the will of the people. In Ohio, it's 70% as far as voter, like, like people, 70% of the population approves of medical marijuana. So if it gets on the ballot, it's going to pass. And so it's just a matter of I'm gathering signatures, if five of my friends are gathering signatures, five of their friends are gathering signatures, and we're all in it together, we'll be able to pass this thing. And so, and I have full faith just in humanity that, I mean, knowing what we know and just being out there and sharing it and trying to be as visible as possible, that we, we have a really, really good chance of getting it on the ballot this year. If they want to sign the petition and haven't, how can they? So you can go to the OhioRightsGroup.org website, um, and on there we have a, a county connect, and um, we have uh, county captains in almost all 88 Ohio counties. Um, uh, we also have a, a ca campus captain. So one of, one of our brilliant volunteers, his name is Britt Ashley, and he, is, he figured out, like, to statistically, like, if we were able to get 75% of, like, the 20, like, biggest campuses on, in Ohio, 
and had those students, I mean, because students, they get really passionate about, you know, human rights issues, and that's what we're dealing with, then we would be, like, just well on our way to gathering those signatures. But, I don't know, we have, like, 9,000 likes on Facebook, and if each person that liked our Facebook page filled out three petitions, which only requires 36 signatures each, and each petition has to be per county, but if three books were filled by every person that likes on us on Facebook, we'd be, like, over a million signatures. I mean, we, we, we'd be done. I don't know. Like, we, it'd be game over. So we just need people to go to the website. You can actually go to the website, sign up as a petitioner, and then download, download a unique petition. So each petition is assigned its own unique serial number. You can't copy them because that's illegal. Um, but uh, And then there's an affidavit in the back that people then can sign after the book is filled stating that they personally witnessed all those signatures. But all you got to do is just go to the website, sign up to petition, and download and start downloading the PDFs of the petition and printing them out and gathering signatures with your family, your friends, at your workplace, anybody that you know that is down with the cause. And how soon does this have to happen? So it has to happen before July. Before July, so um, the first first of July, we'd really like to have them in, you know, during the month of June, so that we as an organization can, you know, can, can double check all of the signatures before we turn them into the Secretary of State, so that we know where we stand as an organization. Um, but. Uh, you know, we, we would love it on the ballot for this year. The signatures, though, they are evergreen. They are something that we would have to get recertified, but it's not like if we don't get it on the ballot for this year, then they all disappear. Okay. But we would love to get it on the ballot this year. We would love for people to just realize that if we can legalize both industrial hemp and medical cannabis for Ohio, everybody's quality of life significantly increases, period. As a food, as a fiber, as a fuel, as a, as a, a non, medicine, as a medicine, yeah. as the medicine, as the medicine. You're preaching to the choir here. Oh, so, so I recommend visiting right here the Ohio Rights Group. Dreadlock Dave, fully endorsed. Go and sign the petition, please. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, awesome.